guys and welcome back to another video today we are hopping into the 17th episode of the fourth season of smallville onyx last time was lucy we got to meet lois's little sister and really got to dive into her past and kind of why she is the way that she is like her little sister basically got everything handed to her she went to boarding school got the best education and everything else and lois was stuck with their dad and being like carted all over the world and at the end of the day neither of them got what they wanted which was their dad basically and you can see like the sibling rivalry that they had going on there was a mutual admiration for the other person but there was also a mutual like fighting between them which if you have siblings I have a few you understand exactly where that comes from but uh, I thought it was a really good episode I thought it was one that definitely gave you an inside look into really um why Lois is the way that she is. So, um, yeah, so now we're hopping into Onyx. If you want to see my full reaction to this episode or any of my other episodes, you can head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just be sure to take 30 seconds to like, comment, and subscribe. So here we go. We are hopping into the 17th episode of the fourth season of Smallville Onyx. Let's go. Are you sure you corrected the problem, Dr. Sinclair? Absolutely, Mr. Go! That's an explosion. There's another one. <gasps> we were conducting an experiment. I'm guessing it didn't go well. Not exactly You're correct. Well, but it was worth the risk. I'm not buying any story from a Luther without corroboration. Yep. So I'm gonna go talk to Dr. Sinclair and find out what he has to say about this. I'll check out the lab with Lex. I like her still being like very suspicious of it. Like, mm, I'm not buying your story just because you tell me. I saw another Lex Luther. What about reversing it? Is there any way to force the two knees back together? My research notes are back in the lab. If, if I had those, I might be able to find a way to reverse the process. Oh, no. He doesn't want to be put back together. I thought you left for the lab with Clark. I just wanted to check in on Dr. Sinclair first. Well, I was hoping I could maybe talk to him. He's sleeping now. Maybe he should come back later when he's feeling a little more alive. Oh. That's a cool shot. Oh, I don't like that sound. That means. Oh, God. No, 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 no. That's a lot of meteor rocks. Shit. Close the door. Close the door. Yeah. Well, I guess that's one way to get out of there. <laughs> so they're ah, I knew that Alex is gonna be there. Oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot him. Oh God. Meet the real you. My God, you're me. No, Lex, I'm much, much more. The explosion in the lab freed me from your weakness. At last, I can embrace my true destiny. I'm such a letdown. Why don't you just kill me? Nothing would make me happier. Unfortunately, I don't know what will happen to me if you die. Fair enough. It's good to be the king. God, Rosamond is so good at evil Lex! So, like, we literally have the good and bad Lex duking it out. Dr. Sinclair, he's dead, Clark. Well, I better go tell Lex. He already knows, I think. I bumped into him coming out of Dr. Sinclair's room just before he died. Chloe, I was with Lex. We went to the lab together. Which would be about the same time I was talking to Lex outside Dr. Sinclair's room. No, that's impossible. Not in Smallville. Right? Well, people should know that. Facts. Well, he's wearing all black. Like, just so the audience knows, he's bad. I really appreciate everything that you've already told me about Jason and his mom. Do you really think... What I think, Lana, is you deserve better. Oh! Yeah, well, you deserve I'm that. Oh, by the way, I'm closing the talent. Lex! Lana, you can live like a queen or get tossed out with the rest of the garbage. Shit, Lex! What are we Why doing? I know I will. It was your offer to hold a fundraiser at Luther Court Plaza, then you go behind my back and cancel the whole thing. Because he's evil. Those who refuse to help themselves is a waste of time and money, son. Isn't that what the old Lionel Luther used to say? People change. Lex, I'll let you have your little blue plate charity soiree. And what would I have to do in exchange for this contribution? Hmm? I want you to prove you're still worthy to be my father. Are you insane, Lex? No, just curious. Oh, he's just going at him. Somewhere, father. When I came home, he was in my apartment. Like he was a totally different person. Yes, he is. He was. Ah! 
You think you know someone. There's this side of them that you never see until it's too late. She's talking about pretty much everybody in her life. You certainly see me at my worst. And at your best. Yeah. What about the timestamps? Identical. Identical. Got two. What did we talk about last night? Oh, we talked about a lot of things. Can you give me specifics? You started to feel sick. You said it was from the apple. Lex, Dr. Sinclair, he's dead. Someone murdered him. You're talking to bad leg. Clark, who would do something like that? Someone who looks like you. He's so good at playing innocent. I'm gonna put a security team together. Get Chloe and meet me at the lab. I wanna thank you two for bringing this to my attention. Oh, he's gonna try and kill your asses. Damn it. People have a lot of different sides, and sometimes they keep those sides hidden, even from the ones that they love. Sometimes you have to, even if that's not what you want. Yeah, but sooner or later you have to trust someone with what's in your heart. Otherwise you're gonna end up going through life alone. It's like Black Crypt tonight. Are you just gonna murder their asses? Situation contained. Oh my god. Well, they're gonna have to undo this. I still can't figure out how we survived the sky falling on my head. Hmm, Clark, how? So I grabbed you and drove underneath the lab table. Must have protected us from the debris. Good thing our ex quarterback moves so fast. <laughs> Not fast enough. Clark, you're always there when I need you, Clark. I just hope someday I can do the same for you. Where's Lex? He's standing right in front of you. The real Lex would never try to kill me or Chloe. You're probably right. But he's thought about it. <laughs> all the times you've meddled in his plans. He's thought about killing all of you, just never had the guts to go through with it. What are you? I was just about to ask you the same question. I dropped half the lab on you and Miss Sullivan, and yet there you stand. I was lucky. Don't be modest, Clark. We both know you're much more than that. Whatever you're planning, I'm going to stop you. No, you aren't. You're going to join me. My intellect, your powers. Together, we can rule this world. Is the real Lex still alive? You don't get it, do you? I am the real Lex. Is he still alive? Sort of. <laughs> I mean, he's in a basement. I mean, I couldn't really be sure what would happen to me if I killed him, so I tucked him away where I could keep an eye on him. Maybe torture him a little when I'm feeling blue. <laughs> he is full on evil. Oh, damn it. You look a little sick. I've embraced my destiny. I'll never join you. Yes, you will. Or everyone you love will suffer. Oh! No, 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 no. Don't go away. No, 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 no. I gotta hand it to you guys. I mean, keeping something like this a secret must have required an impressive ability to obscure the truth. Maybe the Cancel and the Luthers have something in common after all. Yeah! <laughs> I know about the Rock and Clark's unique gifts. What do you want? The world, Mrs. Kent. And your son's gonna help me bring it to its knees. Now talk some sense into him before something unfortunate happens. What? Like that. You were right about me all along, Mr. Kent. I am the villain of the story. No! God damn it. Oh! Except Evil X is still inside him. I want to say thank you for saving me, but the words seem too small. You're a true friend. It's too bad your other half didn't think so. How much of it do you remember? Nothing really. That's how you undo it. The accident created an Evil X, or is that what's really inside of me? The latter. I wish I could remember exactly what my other half did so I could apologize properly. I just I hope it wasn't anything we can't get past. Well, as long as you're not closing the talon and kicking me out. I said that. Mm-hmm. Along with expressing certain desires. Well, you knew that for years, girl. Come on. Um, whatever my feelings are, I'd never do anything to jeopardize our friendship. I must say, you finally proved yourself to be the son I've always wanted. A man can't deny his true nature. Can he, Lex? No. We're Luthers. Oh, man. I know he's evil, but I really like the freaking evil Lionel again. Wow. Okay, that episode lasted about five minutes. Whew. All right, let's go on and we'll talk about it. Well, that was the 17th episode of the fourth season of Smallville, Onyx. And I'm just going to say the mini reaction, best episode of the season so far. It was so good. Rosenbaum crushed this episode and he was so good as Evil Lex. And I'm sorry for like not really reacting too much. I was just so captivated by it. And he was so good as Evil Lex. And just him, you can see 
what is really happening underneath um, Lex. You have good Lex and bad Lex. And um, it was cool that they brought back the black kryptonite that we... It was introduced in the premiere episode when they were trying to separate kal from Clark and get, you know, our Clark back. And so it was cool that they brought it up again. He was doing an experiment. See, this is what's been so great about this character throughout the entire show and why he's such a cool character and why he's one of my favorites on the show is because... You know, you can see he's trying to do good. He's trying to do the right thing and trying to make the world, you know, a better place and try to do good things. But he does it in ways that it's very gray. He likes, you know, and things happen that maybe aren't in his control. And he goes about doing things the wrong way. But he has good intentions. But things just kind of blow up in his face. And in this episode, that literally happened. And so he becomes separated and you get to see the good Lex like wanted to support his dad and, and put on this charity foundation thing and he's being all supportive. But then evil Lex comes in and he just crushes everything. And I, I said, you know, Rosenbaum just crushed it this episode. And the best part, honestly, was when he was talking to Clark, you know, in the barn with the Kents and like, oh my gosh, that line um was it, I am the villain of this story? I'm like, oh my goodness, like that was his moment. That was, oh, it was so, so good. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. I really love, now that Chloe knows, I really love that she's now helping Clark and like she's kind of the sidekick trying to like, like she's kind of, like, if you look at like the Arrowverse shows now, she is kind of like becoming like a Felicity type character-ish where, you know, like she comes up with all the information and gives it to the hero and the hero goes off and like saves the day. So that's cool. Uh, but when does she get all these hacking skills? I don't know, but I guess you're just going to have to go with it because they needed to find out this information for plot reasons. So I guess that's why she can hack now because of plot. <laughs> um... But just seeing how the turmoil that's going on in Lex and just seeing that, you know, this evil Lex is in there and, and the good Lex is fighting him every step of the way. And you get to see just how evil and malicious and villainous he is. And it's so good. Oh, that's like, that's why this episode only lasted like five minutes because... Evil Lex is so captivating. I kind of want to see him again. And obviously, as the series goes on, we're going to get more and more of that side of Lex. And I am really excited to see kind of what the show does with that and kind of what Rosenbaum does with that. Because um, he was magnificent playing the two different... Like, at the beginning, it was ever so subtle that one was good and one was bad. But you got to see the slight differences. And that's really, really hard to do as an actor. And I thought he was magnificent in this episode and I think that's one reason why it was one of the best episodes is because you get probably the best actor or one of the best actors on the show to do this and most complicated captivating characters and you give him this plot line and he just shines um and I love also the fact that at the end um we get old Lionel, like, Lionel was just trying to be good this season and now he's like ah screw that like let's be evil and I'm for it like he's an awful person he's a terrible person but he is so good as the villain that I love it like and I think I said in Memoria I want to say probably one of the best episodes of the series in Memoria that I would watch a show that featured just the Luthers like I would totally watch that show but it would have to be Rosenbaum and Glover but obviously now it's so much later that you, you couldn't really do it but like I would be so captivated to see their relationship and just do a show with them because Michael Rosenbaum and John Glover are the two best actors on this show and you give them this sort of material to work with. Oh, it is so, 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 so good. I love it. Um, of course, you know, Lex did try and kill Chloe and Clark and well, because Clark is Clark. Um, they're fine, but of course Lex sees it. So at that point, like, it was like, okay, somehow they're going to undo it. And of course they undo it because it was evil Lex that saw it, not good Lex. And I guess he only has the memories of what he went through. So 
there you go. I guess they're two different people. That's how they explain it. Um, I mean, I could go on and on and on about how good Rosamund was in this episode. It was hands down the best episode of the season. And I think this is one of the few episodes that featured Lex. And to be honest, that is no, that's not a coincidence. That's not a surprise. Um, it, it's so good. He's one of the best characters. So, um, I don't think it's quite a 10, but I missed a 9.5. I'm not sure what it was missing to not give it a 10, but I just don't think it was a 10 episode, even though as much as I'm praising it and making sure it's really good, is one of the best episodes, but I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. And tally board, whew, this one is a doozy. Okay, I have it all written down. Plus one for amnesia, because when, as I just said, when Lex, they reunite, um, he doesn't remember that evil Lex saw um, was going on. And he actually like, doesn't really remember a lot of what happened. So we're at 27 for that. We're at plus one for barn destruction. So we're at eight when Lex like, throws Clark out of the barn. Uh, we have a plus three for hospital visits because we have Jonathan, Lex, and uh, Dr. Sinclair all visit the hospital. So now we're at 64 visits. Wow. Uh, we have a plus one for pseudo suit, so we're at 22, and a plus one for reverse pseudo suit. So uh, with the blue shirt and our blue jacket and red shirt, so we're at 19 for that one, and plus one for colored K with black kryptonite, which gives us to eight. Whew, that was a lot. Um, yeah, so that was Onyx. I. I freaking love this episode, and I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you want to see my full reaction, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's just fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next episode.